गाइज वट्स गोइंग ऑन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल सो फॉर टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी कंपेयरिंग टू जेल आई लाइनर्स द फर्स्ट वन इज द न्यू एंड पॉपुलर द नाइकाज ब्लैक मैजिक जेल आई लाइनर एंड द अदर वन हैज बिन फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम एंड इट इज अ बेस्ट सेलर एंड दैट इज द मेबलिन लास्टिंग ड्रामा जेल आई लाइनर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी टेस्टिंग बोथ ऑफ दम आउट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी डूइंग अ वेर टेस्ट जस्ट टू सी विच वन लास्ट बेटर दैन द अदर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू बी गोइंग out so let's see how this works through so if you're new here and if you have not already do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right into the video so let's quickly talk about the similarities and the differences now both of them claim to be waterproof and smudge proof the nike one claims to last for 12 hours whereas the maybelline one it claims to last for 36 hours and this is how both their outer packaging looks like which is pretty much similar because they both come in this pyramid triangular kind of an outer box and this is how both the packaging looks like both of them look in the inside they both look nice and creamy and intense now coming to the pricing and the quantity the nike one is priced at 575 rupees for 3.5 grams of product wherein the maybelline one is priced at 500 rupees for 2.5 grams of product so the maybelline one is 75 rupees less and the quantity is also 1 gram less So the Maybelline eyeliner is infused with aloe vera it has vitamin C and E as well wherein the Nike one it is dermatologically tested it is paraben free and it is cruelty free as well wherein the Nike one usually they do mention if it is vegan but in this they have not mentioned it and then in the Maybelline one it is not cruelty free so just FYI So these are the applicator that it comes in and the pink silicone one is the Nike one which is easy to clean and it is hygienic as well and the one with the protective cap is the Maybelline one which is a normal brush applicator and this is the difference in their lens so i have a super zoomed you guys in and on my right side i'm going to use the Nike one and on my left side i'm going to use the Maybelline one no i can breathe <laughs> now the application was good the reason is because the silicone tip was actually surprisingly very helpful it was pretty similar to how i would apply with any liquid eyeliner with a brush but then it is not the same obviously but it did make my life really simpler than what i had expected let me just take a deep breath because i really wish they both come out even that's the biggest thing so just going to take the products I've coated the tip all over. it's fucked up <laughs> like as you saw that this was much more easier for me because it just was so good with a brush i kind of forgot i did use like i did have the maybelline one before but i completely forgot how the formula or how it was this is good okay i'm just going to leave it as it is it's not that bad of a difference but yeah so this is the nike one and this is the maybelline one This is not the best eyeliner but it's not bad not as bad as I was expecting it to be <laughs> but let's see how both of them last throughout the day and I am just going to add only mascara and my kajal and I will be back 
So I have added the mascara and my kajal and this is how everything is looking like and I've not made any changes whatsoever and the time right now is 11.42 a.m. I have a long day ahead of me. I am going to travel right now. I have to go check out a few places and it is my nephew's birthday today. So evening I do have some dinner plans. So let's see when I can check in next again. So this is how the eyeliner is looking like right now and the time is about 5.52 p.m. Hey guys and I am finally back home right now and the time is about 8.29 p.m. So it is very close to 9 hours since I last applied the eyeliners. So let me quickly zoom you guys in and show you how everything is looking like up close. All right, so throughout the day I did blot my face and I did not mention this before I think but I do have an extremely oily skin. But then I made sure I did not blot my eyelids. So you can see a lot of shine and some of the foundation that is kind of caking up around the crease region that is literally the oil and the foundation mixed together and that's how it's looking like right now super gross i know so let's quickly look through with the eyeliner now this is the nika side it looks perfect just that a little bit in the edge it has moved a bit i think i may have accidentally touched it but it has smudged very very little which is not even noticeable that much and then we have is the maybelline side which is perfectly still in place you can literally still see the cross that I made in the end which was accidental but you can see the cross over there so there's nothing that is smudged or moved and uh, yeah this is how both the eyeliners are looking like and I feel both of them look great so yeah I'm really happy about that and now just for shits and giggles I'm just gonna smudge my eyeliner and see which one is acting up a bit Okay, this is smudged. So this is the Nika side and with the other finger. Okay, so that is the Maybelline side. I feel the Maybelline side has smudged a lot more. It's become almost smoky eye effect. So this is the Nika one and this was the Maybelline one. So the Maybelline one, I just feel that it's smudged on my lids a lot more than lifted the product away. But uh, yeah, this is how I'm looking right now like a raccoon. Okay, so let's quickly go over with the similarities, the differences and which one I personally prefer. Now for the similarities, they both are really intense. But then if you see the Nika one is a bit more extra intense than the Maybelline one and they both are very creamy and they both are smudge proof now again in this the Nika one wins because it is a bit more smudge proof than the Maybelline one and even for waterproof I think it was the Nika one which wins because it's a bit more difficult for it to be removed now coming to the brushes surprisingly I did like the silicone brush which was very new for me like I have used a bajillion number of brushes but a silicone eyeliner brush is something that I have never used before so that is a great addition and the last point is about the price point where the Maybelline one is actually 75 rupees cheaper than the Nika one but then the product is one gram less in the Maybelline one than the Nika one now if you ask me which one I would choose out of the two now this is a personal preference and I would actually go for the Maybelline one just hear me out there are about three reasons why i would choose it the first and main reason is because how easily i was able to apply the eyeliner it took literally few seconds it was literally like few strokes and i was like done with it and i was so surprised myself that is it really over that's it now coming to the nika one it did take a little bit more longer like i had to go over it again and again now i'm a lazy person if i have to go to work i want to do everything quickly that's why i use a liquid eyeliner because that's like my comfort i do it really quickly and the maybelline one perfectly fits the bill for me so the second reason why i would prefer the maybelline one is because how less smudge proof and less waterproof it is as in let me explain that first 
I know this sounds like the opposite of what people actually prefer, but I personally do not go for waterproof eyeliners or mascaras or kajals. That's just not my thing. The main reason is because your eye region is one of the most sensitive and one of the most thinnest part of your skin around your face area. That is the reason why if you get any kind of wrinkles or lines, that is the first place you will get. So the more you kind of tug in like this even to apply eyeliners, that is actually bad for your skin. But then if you are looking for an eyeliner which is completely budge proof, then blindly go for the Nykaa one. For me personally, I like the Maybelline one for the reasons I just mentioned. So the next reason why I would prefer the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner is because of the skincare benefits that it has. It has aloe vera, vitamin C and E. So for me, any makeup product which has skincare benefits, sign me up, I will love it. So the final reason is because the Maybelline Eyeliner is like 75 rupees cheaper than the Nykaa one. Now you could say that it has one gram of less product than the Nykaa one. But then trust me when I say this, you would not be able to finish any one of these products at all because by the time you get to finish it or even finish half of it, it will dry up on you. So for me, the product quantity doesn't make much of a difference because there are other pomades that I had to throw off because it has dried up on me even before finishing like half of the bottle or jar or whatever. So yeah, these were my thoughts about why I would actually choose the Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner than the Nykaa's Black Magic Gel Eyeliner. So I know that this is quite a bit of an unpopular opinion that I have that I chose the Maybelline one over the Nykaa one. But if you are looking for something super intense, creamy and that is super long lasting, butt proof, waterproof, go for the Nykaa one. It is pretty good as well. Just that personally, I prefer the Maybelline one more. So this wraps up today's video you guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload. As well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests. I will try my best to do that for you. As well as follow me on my socials which is It's Nishanayar on Instagram and It's Nishanayar on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.